How's it going everyone? Nathan Nathan's MRE here and today we have a very special ration. It's not really too special. Uh, this is the newest French ration or some of the newest French rations available. Uh, it has expiration of April 2022. This is mini number four and it should be pretty interesting. All right, so this one is the, the Piperade, P-I-P-E-R-A-D-E, -E, tuna. Uh, so it should be very interesting. This is, this actually came in today. That's something I bought last week. I got this from the guy in the US and uh, he told me that this was inspected by customs and they opened up the case, but didn't cut open the rations, closed it back up, put the custom tape on it. That happens a lot. Um, you know, what's legal or not anymore, that's anybody's guess at this point. It all depends on who you talk to. Uh, so I think this is legal. As far as we know, there's nothing weird in it. There should be no illegal elements in it. But you never freaking know, right? I'm going to open it up here. These things are always so weird. Got a pull tab. Got a pull tab. And then... not the way you're supposed to do it but that's where we're gonna do it all right okay so all you guys know the french rations are always a real treat they never ever disappoint um we have some voyager measly some chocolate measly here we have some our standard biscuits and these are the saint george's these are always good as you know there's always the biscuits with chocolate flex in them the cereal and the salty ones Something a little bit different, and I'm curious to see what's different in here, right? Um, there's a fruit bar, uh, the Bar Commando. I'm not really sure what flavor that is. I have not seen that one before. That's something new. We have our chocolate bar, our dark chocolate. We have our nougat bar. This one should be still nice and fresh. <clears throat> here we have our stove with our creepy little spork in it. Maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. We have our accessory pack, come back there in a second. Oh man, we got the prunes. Um, and they're dried. <laughs> maybe it's kind of the worst dessert you could get in one of these rations, but yeah, you just don't know. You never know what you're gonna get, right? Uh, we have a Bar Commando coffee bar. We have our little pate fruit or jelly bar. And this one looks to be uh, blueberry and strawberry, huh? We have a little package of napkins or TP if things go there. And let me see here. Okay, so we have cream of mushroom soup. I think I've had this before. I can't really remember. I have our apricot jam. That's always good. Whoop, almost knocked it on the floor. We have a mixed drink, uh, mango tea. Those have been kind of hit and miss in the past, to be honest with you. You know, kind of is what it is. Here we have our uh, tuna. It's like a, it's like a tuna salad, I guess. The whatever Piper Raid means. Looks like it might have some couscous in it, uh, some peppers, and that kind of stuff, and then. Here we have just some regular lasagna. I believe this is soy. And that's pretty much it. Um, it should be interesting. I have not had this many before. Oh, well, I don't know. Also, if you want the knife, go to the Amazon store. There's also no foreign MREs in there. They've all been bought up. I don't want to put links to anything else in there because, well, the USD USDA doesn't like that. There's no links to put in there. Everything was international. I know you guys can't get that in. So I just, you know, everything was taken out of there, out of stock. So I just shuffled that around. The knife is in there. This is the Made Japan, the Mini Cleaver. And it's razor sharp. I've been using it to cut other stuff in MRE, like cardboard and stuff, and it's dulled it slightly, but uh, holds up really well. Here we have SRD Coffee. I have two packs of that. We have... Royal uh, Cyan, Cyan Tea. 
We have our standard mint tea. We have our pack of sugar, two packs of sugar, salt and pepper. And we have this wonderful hot cocoa. And if you guys don't have, have not had this European hot cocoa before, it's great. Um, it's very unique. It's very semi-sweet and very good. I'll we'll start opening it up and had to, the camera wasn't recording. I clicked the button, but she wasn't recording. Uh, there's lasagna. This is all cheese. Whoa, buddy. You call me Stumpy. I messed this one up. Yeah, so here's the tuna. And it does have couscous in it. And it smells like tuna a little bit. It's not very fishy. It does have kind of like a stew smell to it, really. I just, they have a unique way of seasoning stuff in France. And, of course, this. I was like, it smells of cheese. The top's completely covered with cheese. So let's get these heated up. That's nice. The phone always rings. Let's get these heated up. Be right back. Okay, so we got everything done here. Let me pull some lights in a little bit closer to us. And let's run down through this thing real quick. First of all, let's get her measly going here. And usually these are 100 mil of water. You guys always hate on me because I always put hot water and not cold. It's like if you're eating oatmeal, would you want cold oatmeal? Hell no, you wouldn't. Might have almost been too much. Wow. Baby's freaking hot. All right. Actually, that's probably just about perfect. Make some nice chocolate milk. It looks like that's a perfect amount of water. And put that over there. We'll stand this up. I do have a bowl here for this for right now. Put that right there. Run down through it real quick. Let's wipe this off. All right. Let's go and do the drink mix. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of this particular drink mix. Uh, but, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The powder is all crammed up in the corner where you have to open to that. So, uh, oh boy. Throw about half of that in there, a little over half. It's a little bit hard. Usually it's almost like a, that's probably good enough. These are almost like a, I don't know. It's weird. That's all I can say. Ah. You smell the mango a little bit in it. Let's go ahead and mix this. About right there. I just always have issues trying to get flavor out of these, to be totally honest with you. It's been really difficult in the past to get that out of there. We'll give her a nice little stir here. Looks like it has real sugar in it. We'll throw that to the back real quick. We'll do a tea here. The mint tea, I'm pretty sure this one is. We're about to find out. There we are. Yep. Almost like a spearmint smell to it. Blast some water in that. There we are. Throw it to the back. That sugar everywhere from that drink. Coffee. These things rip so easy too. It's not really probably the absolute best packaging for coffee, but they are in the accessory pack. So there is that. There you go, nice freeze dried. Huh? Not quite as mild smelling. Smells different. Not really a sour smell to it, but just kind of a different smell to it. There's that. Okay. Uh, let me see here. We got one more hot drink, hot cocoa. 
or how many mils this was here. Mm, 15 CL. Let me see. We'll, we'll wing it. We'll mix it on the thick side. Nice dark chocolate in it. It does sell, smell semi-sweet. Semi Maybe about right there, I would say. Not looking for perfection here. All right, like I said, everything in this mill should be compliant and should be no issue. Ah, I shouldn't have mixed that in there. We gotta do the seat, hold on. We're just gonna have to wing it here and we're gonna mix a seep in this guy. I think it's 500 mil. Run down that real quick. 100 gram pack. Yeah. Really hard to tell. We'll do about half of it in here. The mushroom soup, I think it's fairly on the weird side. That's about half of it. We'll toss that over here out of the way. We'll avalanche that. We'll blast some hot water in this real quick. And look at that. It's just like a moist powder. Oh, it freaking reeks too. It smells sour. It smells bizarre. We'll go pretty light on the water at first. We we'll always add more to it. Okay, so starting off, let's go ahead and hit this muesli. And we'll eat it right out of the bag. And the water turned out about the way I like it. There's a tiny bit in the bottom you can see there. But overall, it turned out about perfect. And never had French muesli. It really is a, a nice treat. Hmm. And the chocolate's always the best. The oats are not ground into flour, not ground into dust like a lot of them are. They're actually whole. Man. It's like a healthier Fruity Pebbles, right, at this point? Look at all the chocolate in that. It's all melted together. Hmm. We're gonna seal that up before we put it off to the side so it'll get cold. After this is over, we'll finish that off very first. And next up, a little bit on the hot side, the tuna. This was tuna, P-I-P-E-R-A-D, Piperade. And, uh, whew, the couscous. I guess it's like a tuna steak, the way it looks. Like a yellowfin, probably. I don't know if it's actually yellowfin. But then it's almost like a salmon looking tuna, right? Almost like a, I don't know, just different. It's just a very complex taste. You can definitely taste the green peppers in it. The couscous has a nice like pasta side taste to it. <clears throat> you know, and the French take great pride in their food. And there's actually French chefs that prepare or do the recipes for these. I'm not exactly sure the exact rundown of it, but they do use chefs to do this. And I can't say enough about it. If you ever had like a tuna steak, like yellowfin, it is very similar to that. It's not the crunch up stuff you see in the can. Got a piece on the floor. For a tuna dish, that's a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry, that's just, that's the best tuna man I've ever had. Woo, this stuff's raging. And the raviolis, it just, all kinds of cheese on the top here. Or is that pasta? Actually, might be pasta on top. Mm. 
and it's pasta, like a layer of uh, lasagna noodle, and then everything else in it. I mean, even though it's not, for say, real, it's, it still tastes really good. It's kind of like the Norwegian rations. And they do a lot of soy and stuff on those. And they hit the nail around the head. Um, overall, so far, a good meal. I'm not going to leave it there because it's right in the way. I might move that one too here in a second. We need to get, yeah, go move this over here just for a minute. I'm going to get this soup in here. But look how thick that got. There was a chunk in it right there. and squish that around just a bit. Let's take one taste. Might have to put a little more water with that. No, it's not salty, actually. You'd think that would be raging with salt. It's almost like cream of mushroom, but without the cream. Um... I think last time I had it, I fixed it too. I mixed it too thin, and it tasted like water. But this actually has some thickness to it. It's actually very, very nice. Try to take a bite without dripping it. They might have changed the recipe. I'm really not sure. This time, it's really good. I'm digging that quite a bit. It's actually a very nice dish. Uh, a nice surprise to the side. It's not just usual run-of-the-mill stuff it is very very good let's set this off of here we're gonna go ahead and we'll take a drink of our tea first and it stayed mixed up pretty good this is mango tea it's not bad it's um I don't know what they did to it, it just tastes it's just weird right it's kind of like watered down almost like a thick kind of taste to it it's very, very, very bizarre. I know this video is already getting super long, guys. I have to apologize for that. Uh, let me see here. We'll do a little bit of... These are the chocolate crackers. That one's kind of busted. That one doesn't say... I forgot to label a few of them, or maybe there's only two kinds in it, huh? But it shows three. I think we got stiffed on the crackers. Here's the cereal. Okay, so the cereal crackers on these are way dark. And then here's the chocolate. That's odd. I haven't seen that before. Maybe it's, you know, a different deal. So we're gonna use a cereal cracker with this jam here in just a minute. Before we do the jam, Let's go ahead and do some of these bars here. And let's start off with the Coffee Commando bar. Usually these are kind of greasy. Let's give a real break off the end here. You can see a little flex, maybe some coffee in it. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very, very mild. It's actually more mild than I ever remember those being. They're really backed up on the coffee flavor of it. Next we have the nougat bar. Like I said, these get old, they start smelling like paint. Jeez. smells a little weird I mean not bad I'm not sure what in there makes it smell like that it's not terrible but they do get pretty painty tasting a little flecks of fruit in it it's like made some dates hmm it's semi-sweet it's hard not to like that, to be honest with you. Or fruit pate bar, it's like a jelly bar. A 
blueberry and strawberry. Mmm. It's semi-sweet. It's a little bit tart. Not as tart as like currant or anything, but a little bit on the tart side, I would say. This guy here, I'll tell you what halfway through this. Let's take a sip of this mint tea, kind of clean your palate before we move on, getting the sugar overload. Oh yeah. It's a real light mint tea. Very, very mild. Very, very good. What are we doing here? We're getting mixed up. Back to this guy. This is the the fruit R-O-U-G-E-S. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. It looks almost like the nougat bar. It's got some puffed rice in it. Or not the nougat bar, the coffee bar. Maybe a raspberry in that. It's very interesting. I don't mind that. That's actually a good bar. Man. I'm diabetes here in a minute. Next up is the Nor 60% chocolate bar. It's made by Klaus. A little bit of blooming on it. I mean, not really. A very, very tiny amount. Probably looks worse on camera than it does in real life. So the chocolate bar is actually just very mild. Even though it's dark, it's not acidic and harsh at all. Um, I've had milk chocolate here was almost that bitter, right? It's very close. So next up, let's go and do the cereal crackers. Here we go. that bad boy off squid some uh apricot jam look at the color of that stuff though hmm apricot jam never disappoints We're gonna keep pushing here for full diabetes. We're almost there. Got some hot cocoa. We'll take a sip of it just like it is first. Man, perfect. The perfect amount of water. The cocoa is not real strong. And I kind of like that about it, to be honest. But I really wanna do here How long to leave it in or don't want it to break off? We'll dip that bad boy in the cocoa. Hmm. It's a really, really good biscuit. The cocoa definitely gives it a little something extra. Also go well on the coffee, I suppose. And since there's a lot of coffee drinkers out there, let's go ahead and do it. Coffee's a little bit harsh, I have to say. A little bit brutal. Especially after eating sweet stuff, right? Some of the coffee. Hmm. Not bad, that's what you're into, I guess. Prunes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to flip this bad boy around and stab one here. The old prunes. They're definitely fresh. I had to give them that. They're not old tasting at all. There's three of us, four. 
Well, no. They're really soft, almost like a date. Nice and sweet. I really don't mind those. It's not, I think I've had it once before in an older ration. They're kind of old. Those aren't bad though. Overall, the mills are 10 out of 10. Another flawless performance by France on this one. The star of the show was definitely the tuna, just because it's so wildly different, and the mushroom soup. Uh, just because it wasn't just all salt and all weird. Just look how thick that's getting. Look at that. And that's only half the package. Let me save the other half for later. That's gonna be it, guys. What's gonna happen after after this when they have his MRE? I don't know. Uh, nothing in here that was against the rules, hopefully. And I'm just gonna try to get, I guess, compliant stuff to do here. Anything that's not compliant, we'll have to fly to a different country and do it and come back. Um, that's maybe the plan. Maybe that'll change, maybe it won't. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.